Okay, here's the Bluetooth boombox, the $11 eBay special. And when I bought mine, they were like 13 bucks, but uh, they're down to 11.35 with free shipping. So we'll do a quick review of this and see what it came with. It comes with the uh, 3.5. Uh, to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. It comes with the uh, USB charging cord and the 3.5 uh, millimeter to RCA plug. It comes with uh, the instruction manual and of course the unit itself. So here on the end we have the functions and we have the power on off button here. We have the audio output there in the center 3.5 millimeter and then we have the uh, micro USB plug there and uh, let's see what do they have that they have that uh, on off um, auxiliary out and USB in that order okay so this has an internal battery so what they do is they give you the uh, USB plug and apparently you're supposed to just plug that into a computer or whatever the hell you want to plug it into. They really don't say, they just give you that. So I've been charging them on like the good, these are some of my favorite wall wart chargers, the Samsungs. Um, this one and the black one, they're pretty hot charge. Um, okay, so... Uh, just right off, I'm going to tell you, I do not like this piece. Um, actually, it's not even worth the 11 bucks. This thing's just a throwaway, in my opinion. Um, it has terrible range. The audio quality is okay. And what I mean by terrible range is, in the real world uh, setting here, at the labs, um, I get about a 15, almost 20 foot range. Uh, the other boxes are averaging real life 30 foot. So, um, that kind of sucks. Another thing that sucks on this is um, every time you go to use it, you actually have to push the switch on and start it. So let's do this. And then of course you get the blue light and then that's going to try to pair and then it searches for something to pair to. So let's do this. Let's actually hook this up to the stereo and um, let's run over the operation of this puppy. Hold on. Okay, so I've got the Bluetooth boombox hooked up to my stereo. I have uh, USB power in, which I actually don't need uh, at this point in time. And I do have the audio output connected. It's going through my Technics 12 band EQ and then into the old uh, SA404. And out to some home-built monitor speakers and a sub okay so let's get this sucker going all right here's what we do we come over here and we push our power button let's see here before I do that let me turn up the stereo here a little bit all right and you're what's gonna happen is uh, the little voice on here is gonna tell you that this is on so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna push it Power on. That was cute. Okay, now we're going to try to pair it up. So let's turn my Bluetooth device on. This is always so hard for me to do this on camera. Okay. It pops up as so easy. 188. Connected. Disconnected. Okay, that was weird. But it does stuff like this. So let's see if we can pair it. Let's pair it. Still trying to pair. You can see the light flashing. Come on. Connected. There we go. Okay, so now let's play something through it. Okay. Okay. So that works. 
You know, it, it can be a little funky sometimes connecting it, and it kind of depends on what Bluetooth device I'm using. I'm recording with a Samsung Galaxy S7 phone, and it seems to hook up to it for the most part f fairly quick. This is an LG Volt, which I really like this. I use this for music storage because it's an old Virgin Mobile prepaid smartphone, but it's got tons of memory in it, and I got a lot of music on here. So I tend to use this one, but every once in a while it is a little glitchy and weird. Okay, so um, what I'm doing is I'm charging it right now, and I'm charging it through this um, cable. Let me unplug the wall work, and I'm charging it into one of these hot Samsung wall warts. All right, now the power. It, you have to. By the way. If you're going to use this on a wall wart and actually power it up with the wall wart, you need a really good wall wart because um, I've tried some of the other cheaper ones that I have laying around here. Of course, they're not in reach right now, but like the little block style ones. And I actually get AC hum through here. This does not have a very good uh, filtering circuit in the power supply. And I'm actually going to plug it into my home computer here. Right in there. All right. And you can hear that hum. Yeah, not cool. Okay. The working features of this. All right. When you're done with it, you have to turn it off each on and off. So you have to turn it off when you're done. Power off. Okay. And then power back on. Hold it. Power on. Okay. Connected. And because I've already paired to this device, it reconnected rather quickly. Okay. Okay. It's a killer song, but I don't want to have any issues with Googly and YouTube and their copyright rights crap. <clears throat> so, anyway. Okay, pros and cons. Um, hmm, well, let's go with the pros. Let's get the hard stuff done first. Um, it has a good audio output. Um, it's a fixed level audio output, so you can't adjust the volume. On some units, you can. And I want to show you something here. Let me go over here to the ad. Okay, so here they got this uh, girl sitting here with her headphones hooked up to this puppy. So apparently she likes her music all at one level, right? Okay. Um, unless you have a pair of headphones with a, a built-in volume control on the cord or on the headphone themselves. For earbuds and earphones, it's the same thing. You won't be able to control the volume unless you have the little volume control actually on the earbuds. So if you're using like a set of OEM earbuds to say this, or let's see, I even think my, yeah, my Galaxy uh, S7 came with just standard earbuds so you can't control the volume. Then you're just basically stuck at one volume level. Okay. Um, a roughly a 15, oh God, maybe almost a 20 foot range. Um... Yeah, not very good. Um, it takes th three hours to charge this, and then you get eight to ten hours of runtime, so they say. I'm going to say they're probably going to get the eight hours out of here. I think I kind of timed this once, and I think it was probably around, you know, nine hours or something like that. But the only really positive thing I have to say about it is it, is it didn't come defective uh, I ordered this on eBay and it took like almost three weeks to get here from a, a China um, yeah um, and you know you could um, take this and hook up to the 3.5 millimeter jack and plug this in for like the auxiliary input in the front of your car stereo so for maybe that reason, I would probably say if that's what you're going to use it for, then it's probably worth the 11 bucks. So what I mean by this is if you have an auxiliary plug in the front of your elderly car stereo, 
um, you can hook the car stereo to, aux or you can take the source and turn it to um, auxiliary, AUX, plug this end in to the face, and then take the other end of this and uh, plug into here. Shoot this with one hand. So what I mean is, come on. You got these two. You got these two ends. This end's gonna go in here. This end's gonna go in the front of your car stereo. You basically turn this on till you see the light. You'll probably hear it through the car stereo saying "power on." You can let this dangle from the dash. Um, there's not enough US or there's not enough cord there to really set it on a seat. Maybe you could put it in a cup holder or a little coin box or whatever, a little pocket area, and then jam along. Take your source from your phone and uh, play it through your stereo. So uh, they work, but it's very, very basic. And I'll leave that up to you whether you think it's worth 11 12 $13. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please comment below and please subscribe for more of these high quality, highly educational videos. Thank you.